What is up everyone, Ducky O'Brien here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a gameplay preview of a game called Pathologic 2. Now this game was developed by Ice Pick Lodge, it was published by Tiny Build and it came out on Steam on May 23rd, 2019 with the MSRP of $34.99. It was released onto Xbox One on December 12th, 2019. And recently, on March 6, 2020, it came out for the PS4. Now, this is kind of a <sighs> massive RPG, but it's also very janky. And on top of that, it's very hard. But why don't we get into it? I'm going to set the music back to normal. I lowered it just for the intro. It's quite loud. And then we're going to start a new game. I progressed pretty far, uh, but yeah, anyways, let's get into it. You kind of start off here. I did not play Pathologic 1, so I do not know what's going on here. See no evil, hear no evil, display no evil. Uh, just, just to start off, you see this a lot where they kind of quote something that's supposed to be, I guess, deep sounding, and it's a little jarring. It's very uncanny valley here. <laughs> I don't know who Mark Immortal is, but... I have no idea what's going on, by the way. And some kind of stage. You can ally people to talk to them. I'm exhausted on my last legs. See, I'm not holding you back. Let each of us find our own path. See, like this. It's so uncanny valley that I can't really take it seriously. Uh, that said though, if you play the game, if you can put up with the jankiness a little bit, uh, once you go to the main area, man, there's a lot of things to do. The game kind of opens up. I was very interested in the lore. Okay. I think the authorities again the presentation overall it's a little bit lacking in that I feel like the pacing is a little bit choppy um the voice acting the animations all of that it's a little bit jarring <laughs> day 12 which the hard specs ends with the semicolon so we're in the city you can kind of call up your vision, your Batman vision to see where to go. It's very nice. It kind of tells you where to go. You'll never be lost. I, I say that as I walk into a wall, but... This is... This, this is not scary to me. It's comical. <laughs> I understand it's trying to set a mood. Move along, Doctor. Nothing to see here. Work as usual. And they don't shoot them. Can I talk to them? I will protect you guys. No, I guess not. A homeless man. I think they're dead.
again, not really creepy, uh, just comical because the overall execution is a bit choppy. That said, the game does start to warm up to you if you can get past the first, the intro section a little bit. walking towards the cathedral. Again, I have no idea what's going on. I have no context for anything. This cool. We, we hanging out, guys? The cool people's group here? Alright, I guess not. Like, this is the scariest thing in the game. There's like death and destruction everywhere. You got this little girl playing hopscotch. That's creepy. I don't know if you guys have seen the first Men in Black, but just kind of reminds me of the scene where he shot the uh, the girl with the books instead of the aliens. <laughs> See, that's a little bit creepy there. This is... Less is more, guys. Less is more with horror. You don't want to overdo it. Oh, a quick thing, you do seem to have a lot of meters, you get items that can boost each of these things, they go down, uh, gives you a little bit of a quest tracker here, these are your thoughts, people are people you met, the map does a pretty good job giving you the quest markers, you can fight, we'll get into that though. Feverish. Give me a reason to call off the bombardment. You have one chance. Sessante Omnia. Okay. Again, no context. I'm the only one alive in this town. If you guys are confused, I'm in the same boat. <laughs> but everyone who's played the game and, and like it, uh, they kind of seem to get super deep into the lore, so... That looks very small for a coffin. Oh my, hello there! How do you do? How did you get inside this coffin? Okay, well, guess I'll just do my thing here. This game is pretty weird. There's a giant cow. Hey, 
well, let's imagine you can feed a whole country with this cow. That's all I can think about right now. Yeah, I think you're supposed to die. I don't know. That's what I did on my first run, so... And here we are back again. It's like, oh, okay, let's share the secrets and then... No secrets were shared. Lot of coffins here. You can you can loot items here. It's kind of funny in that it kind of simulates the <laughs> exact drawers. So I think the diamond ends the conversation early. Why, hello there, mister. And it turns into this guy. I'm like, oh, is that supposed to be scary? Amnesia has kind of ruined horror games for me in that uh, if you have a fail state in a horror game, it breaks the tension for me because once I fail, I know it's just a game. No, it's just a coffin again. I don't know who these people are. Apparently your dad called you because he was worried about something and yeah, you're going to meet him. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Some weird stuff going on. Oh, what the- What's up, girl? <laughs> So, you can kind of... <laughs> Uppercut, sure you can. Yes, that seems obvious. It's kicking me between my arms. Sure, you can. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's recharge. Oh. Ow, you kicked me. That's that's cheating. This is weird too. I don't really know what's going on, but we traded hearts apparently. I had a rotten one, he had a good one, and now I have a healthy human heart. Again, the storytelling I'm interested in, but the pacing and the way that it's shown is so choppy that, you know, you can't really get into it at the beginning. I would want to carry that bread with me. 
Okay, here we are. My dear son, Artemy. My dear son. I write to you after so many years apart in the hopes that you may find a way to return to us. <laughs> Something worries me. I fear a difficult trial approaches. I hope that your studies have proven fruitful and that you have achieved great skill as a surgeon. Such skill might be of use here. I remain the only physician in this town. But you know that I am growing old. I need an assistant. They seem to be pretty high. I don't know what they're smoking, but it's the good stuff. The voice acting is not, is not the best in this game, <laughs> but it's okay. There's a weird sort of charm to this game. So it does seem to take a little bit to load for older PCs for these uh, pre preview videos. I always try to play it on my old PC first because I want to give kind of like an accurate representation of how it run on lower end hardware. So it will give people an idea of what the game would look like. All right, dead people here. You got on the train, some guys are waiting to jump you. I have a present. It's a stick. So there is sort of like a journal again. Uh, the people that you met, you got this little bit of a just thoughts. So th these are basically quest trackers. You got your inventory. You got your status bars there. See, I can quench my thirst. You got your map here, and usually it uh, marks your quests pretty well. All right. Is yet to come. That's a uh, doggo. You need to handle that bleeding, old man. You're covered in blood. You're on blood. I knew that. Here you go, a tourniquet. It used to be my leash, but seems like you need it more. Thanks, you're a nice kid. See, the conversation is a little weird, too. They all seem to be on something. Away, the mice will play. Okay, got a tourniquet, got our health back a little bit. I don't know why you can respond so rudely. Anyways. So basically they're telling you you need to heal up, get some sleep, and eat, otherwise you're gonna die.
They're telling you to go meet your father. Check the map a little bit. Okay, so now we're at the main hub, the first one that you go into. It's pretty large, not gonna lie. There's a lot of things you can do. I'm not gonna be able to cover it in time, but uh, hopefully I'll give you guys a good idea what the game is like. The game starts to open up now. So let's kind of locations where you can shop for things. It's gonna go find a location in my first playthrough that I couldn't quite get, but. Yes. Loot the trash. <laughs> so the game kind of gives you uh, an option of stealing things or buying it fairly and it's very hard to get stuff so you're gonna have to end up stealing stuff sooner or later. People's opinion of you will go down though. Sort of like a reputation meter. There seems to be some kind of mystical clay-like creature. You can use your bat vision. Here, it says the location and then your reputation. No one cares about you, which is good. Better than hating me. Got a lockpick. Thank you, friend. So you can kind of trade items for other items when you barter. I will show the system real quick. Is there another... This is glowing. Hmm. I don't understand. Anyways. So when you trade, I don't have any items available, but let me see if I can go trade with this person. You pick an item and as you can see on the bottom, hands, side, screen, whatever, there's three there. So I keep adding items from my inventory until it goes to zero or goes past that and then you can trade for the items. So again, like you saw me respond sympathetically to these people and my reputation went up just a little bit. Now the rest of the time is spent kind of exploring this area, uh, trying to survive, trying to get food, trying to sleep, trying to find medicine. There we go, let's see. Uh, oh, it's expensive. Yeah, I don't have enough. Oh, this spell is worth a lot. Unfortunately, I have nothing. <laughs> All right. Let's just steal some stuff and then we will call it call it an end there. Or maybe I should go um, do some things. Okay, nothing is stealable here. I went into the wrong building. 
You can also run, but it does use your stamina up. See, this is the uncanny valley. I just can't get over it. So again, you have options to do things, but it will lower your reputation. And people will just start attacking you. Let's see if I can trade with this lady. I cannot. Life is hard in this game. coins not even worth it but as you can see my reputation went down quite a bit He's actually dead. Hmm. This is this is a first. Um let's uh let's take everything he has. And let's do an autopsy. Scalpel required. Hmm. This is the first time I've done this. Wow, looks like I'm a criminal now in this save file. Unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Wow, I got I got nothing useful. Sorry, friend. <laughs> On that note, let's leave the house. Actually, wait. We can use their room to sleep in. It's a little morbid, but they don't need it anymore. I think. Can I? Let's try it out. Uh, oh, he just disappeared. Let's find a door that's locked. Oh, what the? Oh no. Bamboozled. I just wanted to find a place to sleep and now uh can I punch her? <laughs> okay. Well we are a criminal now. <laughs> oh you need a needle for those. Alright, that's that's why I can open it. I'm rich. Life of crime does pay. I got some nuts. You could say, uh, these nuts. We can pick it now. Wow, that's this is wow, this is way easier than playing honestly. What the heck? <laughs> what an air oh man. I've been playing this game wrong. Just have to play as a criminal. 
Yeah, that kind of didn't pay. Beetle. Broken scissors, that kind of reminds me of, um... What's that game? <laughs> oh, I can't remember. The Last of Us, there we go. Punch! Oh! Oh, run! Run for your life! Show you can... <laughs> Show you can. I think I might be dying. Show you can. <laughs> I'm playing a literal Street Fighter. There we go. Now I can end this playthrough. Life of Crime ended in tragedy. So it's kind of weird where, you know, if you eventually play through the game, the villagers will hate you enough to the point where they will just straight up kill you. And then you end up with this dude here. Yeah, nothing really makes sense if you go through it. Oh wait. Oh, okay. So basically when I did the good playthrough, there was a dude here, and he would open this chest up for me. But it still has stuff, so I don't understand. Hmm. That girl, uh, I think she could be some clothes. She kind of looks cold. <laughs> the wench has us all over a barrel. Nothing to be done. I don't think I got any of the quests this time. <laughs> I didn't go back to where I was supposed to go, and now everyone hates me. Which is not going to be good. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to end it there. Um, I think this game has a lot of interesting things going for it. But the packaging, the outer layer, you know, it takes a little getting used to. It's pretty janky. Uh, some of it has a lot of production issues, I think. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But a lot of unca Uncanny Valley stuff. A lot of weird voice acting kind of you know what it kind of reminds me of deadly premonition that's what it's reminding me of right now which was a fantastic game by the way i mean definitely not perfect and had its flaws but i think this game sort of has this similar kind of feel and that's why i think i was kind of getting into it quite a bit but yeah the beginning turned me off a lot and then later it opened up quite a bit uh, that said, if you don't have a lot of patience, then you might not like this game. Um, but hopefully I did a good enough job to show you guys enough of the game so that you can get an idea of what it's like. Anyways, thank you so much for dropping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, things you would like for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Once again, this was Pathologic 2. As always, catch you guys next time. Shot someone. So much for his oath. Perfect timing. <laughs>